Hi guys! Today, in this video, I want to talk to you about Arduino IoT and how I use it to connect it to the big NeoPixel LED display that I made days ago and you will find the link to the video in the description or clicking above. Arduino IoT offer a free plan to connect your electronic projects with internet control on a computer or a mobile phone and not only with Arduino boards but also with ESP8266 or ESP32. So let's see how to do it. What you will see now is the result after creating an account on the Arduino IoT website and set up everything necessary to let the ESP8266 contained in the big NeoPixel display in communicate with the Arduino IoT application. At this point it's possible to change the color of the display simply by using the color wheel of the Arduino IoT application. You can choose from any color gradation It is also possible to change the brightness And through this drop-down menu, you can choose a color depending on the weather forecast or select the demo mode. PCB Ways offer the best custom PCB prototyping service, but they also offer injection molding, 3D printing laser and CNC cutting with their instant quote feature. You can simply upload your model and choose from SLA, FDM and SLM, which is a laser mounting a metal powder to make metal parts. They also have an instant quote feature for their custom PCB. So go ahead and try it right now at the PCBWay.com. First, you need to authenticate. Then select Arduino IoT and click on Main Menu. There are now three basic sections Things, Dashboard and Devices. Things is dedicated to the creation of variable to be associated with a widget which will then be inserted into the application. Dashboard is used to add widgets to the application and move them graphically around the canvas. Devices is for registering the microcontroller that we are going to use and in this case is a, an ESP8266 that I've of course have already created. Enter the name we want to assign to the device. Now we have to save the device ID and secret ID key which we will need later in programming the code. The device has been created. Now I delete the one just created because I already said it previously. Now we proceed to create the container of the variable that will be later associated with the widget.
we enter the name of the variable and then select which type it should belong to according to the widget it will be associated with. Here too I deleted because I had previously created a clock display container. In the dashboard section, we are going to add the widgets that will control the variable that we have associated. Once the setup is finished, we download the source file generated directly by Arduino IoT and start designing the sketch of our big new pixel display. In the next video we will see in more detail the code developed in Arduino IDE.